For all of our faculty and students who are on spring break, we hope you're having a wonderful time and we have a really short but wonderful episode for you today. A couple of months ago, one of our faculty, uh, Scott Caldwell from the Richmond campus, connected me with a student via Facebook, and I was able to have a quick conversation with one of our students, Rebecca Dale. For all of us that do this work each and every day, we know that our students are the reason why we do it. And I think you're going to enjoy hearing Rebecca's story just as much as I enjoyed talking with her. You may notice a little audio quality difference with this episode. We recorded our conversation over the computer, so we apologize for the slight audio quality difference. We'll do our best to make it as good as possible for you. But again, we want to try to bring you as many voices as possible. So we hope you enjoy this interview with Rebecca. So without further ado, I'd like for you to meet Rebecca Dale. So Rebecca, thanks for joining me today. Would you introduce yourself to our listeners and tell us what you're studying and which campus you're studying at? Okay, yes. Well, my name is um, Rebecca. I live in Greencastle, and I am attending the Greencastle campus. I attended right after high school and took a break. So 23 years later, I am um, going back, and I am studying business. Very good. Is that what you were studying when you first started at Ivy Tech, too? No. When I first started, I was going for medical assisting, so totally different. (laughs) All right. Very good. What was your perception of Ivy Tech, and and you have a gap, so you might have had sort of two different perceptions, maybe one Mm -hmm. when you started in high school and one now. What were your perceptions of Ivy Tech before you became a student here? Before I became a student um, recently, well, I attended also in Greencastle. It was a little different then because it was, one, it was in a different location, um, and I was 20. So when I went then, it uh, it was different for me because there was the age, there was a lot of ages. There was um, my age, but then there was also 43, like I am now. So then I think my perception then was a little different than now. Now I'm actually glad it's the same um, because I felt awkward returning. I felt out of place. I felt too old, Um, but it's actually the same. It hasn't changed. The only thing that has changed is the building. Greencastle has an awesome brand new building, I think was built in 2008. So that sounds Nothing right. Yeah, it's a beautiful changed. facility. Just, yeah, it is. So other than the building, everything's exactly the same. And, and I'm glad it is because I'm glad that there is age variety. Good. What brought you to Ivy Tech? And, and you can do answer both times or just most recently. What brought you to be a student with us? Um, most recently, I chose Ivy Tech, one, because I, I am working full time. Um, and I also have a part time job. and I'm a new grandma. So my time is limited. Um, Ivy Tech, uh, thank you. Ivy Tech offers so many online classes. There are some that I do not want to take online because I feel like I need that one-on-one with the instructor. Um, I can drive five minutes down the road and attend classes um, after work. So, Very good. And of, co- of course, the, the tuition was a big thing for me. So I have two children. I have one through college and one I'm putting in. Um, and the price difference is amazing, especially for an associate's degree. Good, good. I'm glad that you're finding that. And you said you're taking some online classes too? I am. I'm doing both. Good, good. Um, any differences for you between your online classes and your traditional? You you said, and I, I think it's really, I love to hear when students say, there are some classes I know I shouldn't take online, which is sort of what <laughs> I heard you say. Um, yes. are, there, are there differences for you in the two experiences? online versus in class? My first semester back, they were all online. Um, I was intimidated. I was scared. I couldn't figure it out. Um, I thought, I'm never doing online again. Now that that semester's finished, um, I went all online because I absolutely loved it. It was convenient. I was at home. Uh, I am taking math and um, a couple other classes. I don't quite feel comfortable doing online just in case I do have questions and remembering back from high school in my first year. Um, college, I do want that instructional availability. So right. the, the second semester, I'm doing a mixture. I'm doing half online and half in class. So right. I'll have a better feel of the difference between after this semester. Good. Now, it sounds like you're really busy um, outside of school, but do you participate in any clubs or organizations or maybe uh, service learning or internships as a part of your courses? Or do you do you plan to as a part of, your, of being a student at Ivy Tech? 
I do see that online when I go into my IV. I see several different things. Um, as of right now, I have not. It's not, I'm not going to say I, I won't. Um, if something comes up that I see that catches my eye and I have time for, I definitely will. As of right now, no, because I am busy and, like I said, working and there's a lot on my schedule. So, yeah, absolutely. Um, who's been most helpful or supportive to you in your time at Ivy Tech? My time at Ivy Tech, definitely the advisor, um, Brad Johnson, has helped me a lot. Um, the financial, I have spoke to, um, I think it's Shawnee Johnston. And okay. definitely, I've I've actually had a tour of the facility because I was nervous and didn't know. So, um, Laura Zoll helped me through and showed me where the classrooms were. Um, and outside of the facility, um, my neighbor, who actually is on the foundation board, um, Harmless, he has helped me just open my eyes to a lot of different things that I didn't know about Ivy Tech. And um has helped me there as well as another community member here is uh, Dave Murray, who has helped me get my foot in the door. Wonderful. I I love to hear that you've had such positive contact with members of our our board. You mentioned our foundation board. We have a board of trustees. We have campus boards. So we have a a lot of community contacts. And I love that they've helped to connect you to the college too. That's so great to hear. Mm -hmm. Um, What are your plans? I know you work full-time and part-time now. So you're holding down two jobs now. Um, What are your plans after you complete your Ivy Tech studies? Honestly, my plans are the exact same. I love where I work now. I'm not doing this to build um, a different career or get a different job. It's personal satisfaction. I regretted not finishing after high school. um, And I've thought about it for 20 years. Why didn't I do it? Why didn't I do it? I am actually happier now doing it. I feel like I'm more engaged. I want to learn. I can't wait. I can't wait until the 14th, you know, when the next semester starts. Um, right. I I think my, me, I, I feel more, I don't know what the word is. I just, I'm happier now and I have that more willingness to want to learn. Okay. So I think I, ha- I have no other plans other than just reaching my goals and the personal satisfaction of completing a degree and being able to say that I have one. Excellent. I, you know what, I think that's always the best reason to go after a, a degree like this. So I'm so, I'm so excited to hear that that's your, that's your goal. And I, I hope that if you decide there are new, new doors that you want open, that this helps open doors to you. So um, what you've talked a little bit about some of them, but what have been the biggest discoveries for you about yourself or about Ivy Tech as a result of being a student here? The biggest discovery, um, overcoming fear. <laughs> I think, obviously, because of my age, I was worried about going in, worried about what people would think. Um, I was self-doubting myself, like, maybe I can't do this. I'm too old. I have discovered that I'm not. Um, I'm more capable. I'm happier. I. I I know being 2019, there's, I find myself addicted to social media and I've discovered going to classes and putting my, you know, my eyes in a book versus learning other things that I shouldn't be looking at. Um, I've discovered that education is the most awesome thing ever. That's awesome. Uh, be, taking a, we're recording this. Uh, I don't know exactly when this episode will release, as you and I talked about just before we started recording. We're recording it actually January fourth. So, sort of New Year's goals and New Year's resolutions are are uh, top of mind right now. And um, I, I'm planning a social media. I'm trying to take a social media diet this year a little bit. Um, and I find I'm reading more. <laughs> yeah. So I can completely relate to that. I love it. Um, that's great. And I love how you talked about fear because I think so many students. Um, experience that. Yeah. And I, I'm so, I'm, I'm so grateful to you for sharing that. So thank you for that. Um, what advice do you have for someone who is considering Ivy Tech? What is my advice for someone? Yes. Is definitely do it. Um, don't have the fear. I self-doubted. I told myself I couldn't afford it. I didn't want to afford it. I didn't have time. Um, now that I am doing it and I'm over that fear of the unknown, um, it's the best decision I ever made. It really is. Right. I'm That's so great. happy and so glad that I did it. 
Good. Rebecca, anything else that you would like to share with our listeners? Just do it. I don't have any, uh, I can't think of anything else now. Outstanding. I love that. Uh, I think that's going to be the title of this episode. Every episode ends with a call to action. And we hope that first of all, those of you that are on spring break, enjoy the last couple of days of your spring break and come back refreshed and renewed either to finish out your 16 week term or to start a brand new crop of eight week classes. Second, if you know of another student story like Rebecca's that we should tell here on the podcast, or perhaps you have a story about your class you'd like us to share, reach out by phone or by email. We'll give you that information in just a minute and let us know about that episode so that we can get you onto the podcast. We'd love to share your story as well. Thank you for joining this episode of Our College, Your Voices. I want to give a big thank you again to Rebecca Dale for being so gracious to speak with me. I'm your host, Kara Monroe. You can connect with me on Twitter at KNM Tweets. Our producer is Ann Penny Valentine. Ann is on Twitter at Indy Penny. You can reach us by email at our college, your voices at ivytech.edu. Don't forget, you can also leave us a voicemail at 317-572-5049. Once again, that's 317-572-5049. Our website is ivytech.edu slash podcast. It's maintained by Tracy Allen. Production assistance for this and every episode provided by Becky Campbell, Sarah DeWitt, and the Ivy Tech Community College marketing team. Our podcast concept is by Matthew Pittman. Theme music, recording, and post-production services provided by Jen Eads at the Brassy Broadcasting Company. We will see you next time on Our College, Your Voices.